Farm Bureau Insurance wants you to join us for a concert in Virginia Beach this season. We're giving away two premium seats, VIP parking, and VIP club passes to every concert this year. Register now online at FarmBureauLive.com. In all seriousness, what does bring you back to Richmond right now? Uh, good people. Uh, I think, uh, no. I talk to a lot of guys I play with now that went to other schools. I think uh, what separates this place from a lot of other schools, I think, is uh, it's always been, you know, sort of a family atmosphere here. Um, you know, I can come back some of the same faces that were here before I was here, and that were here when I was here, and after I was here. I'm still here now. Everyone still welcomes you with open arms. You know, you still talk to me. So uh, you know, just come back. People are good, and I like coming back. I think the sarcastic answer right now is you got nothing else to do because yeah. of the situation in the that, NFL. Yeah, we also have a, a little bit of downtime, but uh, you know, for me, nothing has really changed. I've pretty much treated this off season like you know any other. And I've been working out probably even harder, um, you know, than the previous off seasons. Uh, you know, been watching film, working out, been on the field doing stuff, and uh, I'm getting kind of close now. So I'm kind of tapering down how much I'm doing. And uh, you know, I just got a chance to come back and say hello to everybody. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. I can remember when you first got drafted and were in the NFL with the Falcons, you talked about how much it really had become a business when you get to that level. How much more is that hammered home right now considering the lockout situation? Oh, no question. I mean, uh, you know, it's a, it's a game everyone loves. You know, a lot of children play it. I love playing it. The people I play with love playing it. Everyone else around the league loves playing it. And the fans like watching it. But uh, – at the end of the day, it's still a business. I think people are really starting to see how much of a business it really is uh, now with the whole labor situation. So uh, hopefully we get it worked out so we can play and work and, and everyone can watch it. Has it affected you yet, or have you allowed it to affect you yet on a daily basis, this business side of it right now? Uh, not really. Uh, like I said, I'm still you know, I'm working out and everything. My routine is, is pretty much the same. I try to keep it. Uh, you know, similar as possible to what we do outside of running around on the field. My teammates, I'm not going to practice anything like that. Uh, but uh, trying to keep it everything, you know, pretty much similar to what I did last offseason. So I pretty much created a routine for myself about what I do every day. Is it different in that you would have had opportunities to be at the Falcons training camp during the summer that you can't do now? I mean, I think that's, you know, pretty much the only difference. Uh, you know, obviously we're not, we can't have any meetings. We can't talk to any of the coaches. Uh, can't watch any film. Uh, so I think, you know, being around your teammates, well, we have had some organized workouts too, but on a daily basis we're having everybody here or everybody in Atlanta, uh, you know, pretty much working out on the field at the same time. And in a controlled setting, we pretty much haven't been able to do that. But, you know, guys are still working out. A lot of guys I know on our team, you know, are still working hard. So, How do you get your information about what's happening with the lockout and when it may end and what the negotiations are going like? Oh, you know, I watch Sports Center like everyone else, and that little ticker that goes along the bottom of the screen, you know, I pretty much watch. Uh, and really, I think uh, the league has done a good job uh, keeping the fans uh, abreast of what's going on, I think, more so than ever, than I can remember. Um, and the fans have pretty much been, you know, I think well notified about what happens. As soon as something breaks, you know, they let the, you know, via the news, ESPN, NFL Network, or any uh, radio outlet, media outlet, you can pretty much find out what's going on with the lockout. And even our president is worried about the lockout, as he said in his last speech. So and everyone's, everyone's pretty much knowledgeable about what's going on right now. How knowledgeable are you about what's going on with Richmond football? You mentioned when we saw you in Coach Scott's office, wow, it's going on three years already now. How much are you keeping up to date on what's happening with the Spiders? Oh, I still watch, uh, you know, I got my Spider TV uh, account. I got it on. I got it on. And uh, I pretty much get to watch the games that do that are broadcast online. You know, I always watch before we go down to the hotel, um, or if I had to listen. I had to listen to it. But uh, I'm keeping up, man. And you have been back before. I mean, how important is that to you as an alum of Richmond to kind of give back something, not only to the program but to the school? I think you know when I was here, and you, know, you hear you know people come back and say, "Oh, you know, I always keep up with you guys, see what's going on." But now being on the other side of it, you know. I, kind of realize, you know, realize where they were coming from, you know, especially, you know, having the coach that I know that's here 
and that helps too. I, mean, I can't. I don't know how much would have changed or how how different it might be if, if Coach Scott wasn't here. But now that I know him and I know a lot of coaches that are here, and pretty much everyone's you know that works in the building is still here. You know, I got to keep up.